Did you know that Gen Z and millennials are going to die in droves from colon cancer because they don't drink enough fucking fiber or eat it, I should say. You know colon cancer? Like the worst cancer you can get? Cancer in your butt. Along with decreasing your risk of butt cancer, fiber is one of the biggest weight loss tools not many people are using. When you eat food, especially when it's carbohydrates, your body breaks it down into glucose. The glucose then enters your bloodstream, which gives you energy. The role of fiber is kind of like installing traffic lights, but for your bloodstream. When you eat foods with no or very little fiber, stuff like sugary cereal, white bread, or chocolate, your blood sugar traffic light is green. Glucose is flying into your bloodstream and then spikes your blood sugar fast and the energy is really short lasting but when you eat food with fiber in it the energy is gradually released into your bloodstream and the blood sugar traffic lights are controlling the wave of traffic stop glucose wait for the light only letting a few cars through at a time not all at once so for weight loss what this means is even without changing your calorie intake simply adding 30 grams of fiber per day can produce nearly the exact same weight loss effect as a calorie restrictive diet does how much food is 30 grams of fiber one apple has four grams one cup of oats is four grams one slice of multi-grain bread is two grams and one tablespoon of chia seeds is five grams. You can also use supplements to get your fiber in too. My page is all about making fat loss easy to understand. And if you found this explanation useful or you want to get your fat loss journey started like my clients here, make sure you drop my page a follow.